Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Crusader Kings 3. Uh, before we get started today, I want to take a moment to remind you about an awesome partnership opportunity that we have here at History Guy Gaming. If you're anything like me and you find that so much of the historical content online either lacks depth, creativity, or reliability, then you'll love HistoryCourses.com. They're a brand new site providing in-depth video courses on some of my favorite historic periods, such as ancient Rome, the American Revolution, and medieval England. In addition to that, they offer annotated transcripts, bibliographies, an intuitive Q&A feature, the ability to download the videos and PDF transcripts, and quarterly giveaways. Right now, they're giving away Bernard Cornwell's entire 13-volume Last Kingdom series. You can sign up for monthly plans for $4.99 or $9.99 per month, or annual plans to receive a discount on your subscription. If you sign up today using the discount code HGG10, you'll receive 10% off your initial purchase, and a portion of that initial purchase will go directly to supporting this channel. Needless to say, I would recommend that you sign up for the yearly pro plan, as it provides you with the greatest discount, the best value, and you'll be providing this channel with the greatest level of support. They're regularly adding new content, so check out historycourses.com today using the link in the description below. All right, so we left off with Duke Edward, who is now 59 years old and in the twilight years of his life. Uh, we have just one child, Earl Edward of Huntingtonshire. We gave him that title uh, just to keep him happy for a while. He is 41 years old now. I was 18 when I had him. So, uh, And then, of course, I have the sibling, Countess Rachel, down in Spain, who's doing pretty well for herself. Let's take a look at her heir. Uh, her primary heir, of course, is that new child she had. What I want to look at is uh, who are the heirs after that. See, Joseph is next in line after that, who is of my dynasty. I'd really like him to inherit that title. That would be good prestige for our dynasty. Uh, but that means we've got to do something about this kid right here. Uh, so it might be time to look at another murder arrangement. Not entirely sure i want to do that it's going to take six years but totally worth it especially since i'm near the end of my life anyway so if for some reason something happens that people frown upon me for that i can just blame it on my old age and say well you know i'm going to die off soon anyway so it won't matter a whole lot that's the plan we're working on increasing control in the county where we're dealing with lack of control let's take a look at all of our counties we're at zero percent in staffordshire because we just took that at the end of last episode in a pretty difficult and bloody war. Christopher seemed to enjoy our latest feast immensely. Of all things, he could not stop talking about the rich clothes and glittering gold he saw there. All right, so he's going to become greedy, or we can gain some stress and cause him to be gregarious. Let's try that. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to upgrade our pastoral lands in Warwickshire uh, to homesteads. It will cost 213 take 14 months to do that let's look elsewhere uh, what about Worcester what can we upgrade there uh, let's see hunters lodges let's go up to level two there that won't cost that much so we'll get a couple of upgrades going at the same time increase our income for future generations uh, barracks go up heavy infantry damage spearman damage I don't think we have those things yeah let's go here walls and towers not many people interested in our current plot but we do have a few agatha and euphemia uh, both of whom could could add much needed success chance uh, adding another 33 would get us up to two-thirds uh, and then another 15 here so it's going to cost us to do this but it'll be worth it it's going to cost some money we'll get 55 here We'll have to wait on the others because we won't have the income for it right now. Let's look at Euphemia. Yeah, we don't have the funds to bribe her at the moment. Oh, now nobody else will do it? Uh, guess we'll have to wait. See who else we can get. Okay, Euphemia. Bribe. 56. We have just enough to get that done. Let's see what that gets us up to. 65% chance of success, 80% chance of secrecy. And by the time these 10 months pass, I should have enough money 
uh, to bribe someone else and give us a really good chance of making this happen. I feel terrible that we're doing this, but such is the game. All right, so this isn't going to be cheap for what it will gain me. It's only seven success chance, so I think maybe we'll pass on that. We'll wait and see if getting a little more gold. Oh, here we go. That's worth it. 58 to get us, what, up to about 80% chance? I'll take those odds. Yep, 80% chance of success, 95% chance of secrecy. It's a lot of money I've invested into this. Let's hope it pays off. One of my counselors has died, so we've got to replace our steward. My son, heir, and vassal. Uh, is he really the best that we have? No, he's not. Uh, Mayor Albert of Kettering would be our best best choice. Uh, increased development in the county. We'll continue that project that was already going on. Uh, what else do we have going on? A few nights. We're going to have to deal with that later. Let's look at our intrigue now. Four months to go. 85% chance of success. I think that's probably about as good as we're going to get it. Okay, here we go. I feel terrible about this. I really do, but it's just a game, so it's not a real person. I wouldn't do this in real life. If there's one thing that Rearid is in particular cannot resist is his favorite treat. His next sweet snack will be the part one part pudding and one part potent poison forgotten by my agent in front of the child. Bon appetit. Here we go. He's dead. He swallowed the bait, strawberry compote, and all... In no time, he was clutching at his throat. All bakers in the area were questioned, but no trace of foul play can be found. I had to do this. Now, my sister, Countess Rachel, her heir, is now Joseph, my nephew, 25 years old, of the house of Greenhill. Why is he betrothed but not actually married? You people need to get married. That's weird. And because of that, he's not having children. That's a problem that we're going to have to deal with. Well, after all that money we spent bribing people to get involved in a plot to murder, uh, we're now going to use some of our piety to get some gold. <laughs> Basically replenish the coffers from our murder fund by asking the Pope to give us some. There it is. Excellent. That helps. We're back up to 357. We're gaining 11 per month. That's the highest our income has been. Who's this army marching through? The army of Norwich and Leeds. There is a war going on uh, that has been going on for a while now that Duke Philip of Normandy started uh, against then Queen Philippa, who's been long since dead, the two-year-old queen of England. Got a new stewardship perk available. Centralization uh, or organized muster rolls. I think we'll go centralization here. Development growth in the capital happens a little faster. The war's not going well right now for the king. Uh, I'm 60. Looking old and fat these days. Uh, let's take a look at uh, our level of splendor. Is at 622. Christopher increases intrigue. Very cool. Uh, so we're watching to see us become insignificant which will give us 200 prestige to all children born into our dynasty, uh, a, f a maximum of plus 15 for the long reign option. Not sure what that does, but that'll be interesting to see. So I'm going to offer to become guardian for my grandson. This is son number three of my son, which is obviously going to be a problem someday. I'm also worried about their faith because my son is of a different faith, a different Christian faith. So we're going to try to convert uh, our third grandson. Uh, it's too late to do anything about these other two. Well, maybe not. Is it possible to do anything about Christopher? He is my ward already. Can I... Oh, yeah, it'd be nice to be able to convert him. Let's see if that's possible. Oh, we have to wait for him to be removed as my guardian. Then I can offer a new guardianship uh, and convert his faith, too, hopefully. Yep. So we'll get the two other sons of my son. It's too late to do anything about my grandson, Edward, because he's 20. Uh, but I definitely want to remain Catholic. 
so we can stay in good graces with the with the Pope. My ward Christopher has come of age, and it is time he left my care. With sufficient tutelage, even a child that has displayed little natural inclination toward administration, such as Christopher, can come to truly understand it. He gained the trait Midas Touched. Excellent. We're going to upgrade uh, Birmingham to a level 2, uh, which is a large city. It's going to take four years to do that and take all the money I currently have. But we're gaining now 12.2 income per month. I'm 61 years old, looking pretty rough, but hanging in there. Looks like the king's about to lose his war that's been going on for several years now. Uh, I would guess once this particular siege is done, that'll be it. I don't know if that'll mean he loses his title. I doubt it. He's 36 years old. He's got two children, Prince Alan and uh, Princess Amis. I can't picture a, a King Alan of England, but that's what we're looking at right now. Uh, I wonder who the next in line is after that. Let's see here. Then it goes to the princess, then to Queen Aveline of Denmark. Wow, if these if he dies and then these two go, the Queen of Denmark inherits the Kingdom of England. That's pretty interesting. Oh, here we go again. King Richard's being attacked by Countess Matilda. War against the tyranny of King Richard, so probably wants independence, I'm guessing. Who is she? Of Sable. Oh, so this is some of the French territories that Richard owns. You can see how much of France is considered part of England at the moment. Ooh, getting pretty interesting down here as well. Oh, is that a, a Christian kingdom now, Galicia, over here? Alfonso, nice. So it looks like Christians now own the western half of the Iberian Peninsula, while Muslims own the eastern half. Be interested to see who ends up winning out in all of that. Let's look around elsewhere. Croatia is an independent kingdom. Uh, Byzantine Empire is doing pretty good. Jerusalem has lost some of their territory. They had been a little more expansive than that, but not anymore. Byzantines are doing pretty good. Be interesting to see if any of this ever merges into larger kingdoms. Right now, it's really just the Holy, Holy Roman Empire and the Byzantine Empire and the Dundarids uh, that have pretty large empires. As a stray arrow whizzes past my head in the yard, I feel nothing. No fear, no anger, no panic. This has been par for the course recently. I feel as if I exist behind a curtain, keeping me from feelings and the world, and I am so tired. Interesting. Let's see what that means. There's two wars now against uh, Richard of England. It looks like people are trying to gain their independence. They see that he's pretty weak, and he is. Uh, oh, I'm above my domain limit now. I'm going to have to grant another title to my son. So let's go ahead to Earl Edward here. And let's grant him, I don't know, Northampton. Can we do that? Yeah, we can. So we'll give him that title as well. That way everything will merge back into uh, the same person when I die. We need a new steward. All right, let's see here. No, we don't need to recruit somebody. Let's just go with this guy here. Um, it's all too much. I gained the trait melancholic. Oh, things are going downhill fast for me now. Well, look at this. Wales has grown pretty powerful. Uh, you can see their kingdom there. You can see they also own significant chunks of Ireland. Scotland owns most of the rest, which it is now Scotland and not... Uh, Albia, or Alba, as it was called before. There's one little sliver of self-governing Ireland left. Uh, boy, Scotland's gotten pretty powerful under Queen Kayak uh, Finane of Scotland. Her heir, ooh, looks to be Irish. Interesting. Very fascinating. That's not her child. All right, I'm looking at the Earldom of Derby as my next conquest. It just seems to make sense. Uh, we're going to spend 250 piety, of which I have 881, but I'm about to die, so not a big deal. i um, got a nice amount of prestige. Uh, we're going to spend that to get an unpressed claim on the Earldom of Derbyshire. Uh, so we've got that now. That'll put us at war with the uh, Earl of Northumberland, or the Duke of Northumberland, but I think we can handle that. Uh, his military strength is inferior to ours. 
We don't have a lot of money right now. I'd, I'm probably going to wait to save up some money. So I've got the money to buy some mercenaries if I need it. Because on my own, I can handle him. But if he gets mercenaries, I'll probably need some too. Duke Peter of Normandy was taken prisoner after he uh, lost in a battle. So interesting. Well, I guess my plans will have to end for now. I have died. Duke Edward II of Mercia has found peace in Christ's embrace at 63 years of age. He died of old age, a tormented man. He had long desired the sweet embrace of death. Duke Edward ascends to the throne, having mastered many skills. He is sure to be admired by his subjects. Duke Edward III. All right, so we've got a lot we can do here. My heir is unmarried. We've got to deal with that right off the bat. Uh, this is one of the most important decisions I will make. Uh, I'm not worried about alliance power too much right now. I am worried about the sum of the skills of the person that we marry him to. Brunhild's not bad. Boy, this one's really good right here. Uh, but I think we'll go here. It's not a real high status marriage, uh, but it will work. So let's do that. I look like the guy from the Faceless Men in uh, Game of Thrones, don't I? I feel like I do. All right, I've got four, 13 titles. I've got to deal with some of my holdings. I've got way too many. Uh, so we'll have to deal with that as well. Lifestyle choice time. Uh, let's continue with the stewardship perks, I think, for now. Uh, domain focus. Let's do that. Empty council positions. A bunch of them. Chancellor, first and foremost. Steward is next. My son Christopher can handle that. And my marshal. Excellent. So we've got some decent people in these positions. Court chaplain is not the best, but I can't replace that person, so there's nothing I can do there. Available perks, four. All right. Oh, I've got four in Intrigue that I can unlock. Interesting. My learning's terrible. Five? Jeez. Um, fertility? No, I think I have enough children already. Truth is relative. Let's do that. Digging for Dirt, Court of Shadows, Murder Scheme Power, plus 30%, success, success Chances on Schemes, excellent. Alright, so we'll do all of that, but we are going to focus on Stewardship. So a lot of the reason why I'm having trouble with the Holdings is because I'm, I'm holding lower level things like the Temple in Peterborough. Uh, so this is the kind of thing I can give to someone else for sure. Uh, so let's grant to a low noble. There we go. Uh, and we'll have to do this a few times. And that'll get some of this down. Typically don't want to be holding all that stuff anyway. That's down to eight. Wolverhampton. Interesting. All right, we're down to seven. We'll have to grant one of the holdings to my son, Edward, who's a gracious ravener. Um, let's go ahead and grant him the title of Huntington. No, we can't. Worcestershire. Let's go there. All right. That gets us down to the required six. Now we need a new marshal. There we go. All right. Everything is as it should be. Now we need to negotiate an alliance with my son. We need to marry off or betroth my, or do a guardian for my son, Girth. I will let my wife do that. What is her culture? She's Welsh. No, we won't do that. We have three disabled buildings? Why? I have the wrong government type. Okay. Well, I guess we've got to deal with that. We'll figure that out off camera here. Um, what else is of greatest importance at the moment? 
Family members can get married. My son, Stuart, and Knight, Christopher Greenhill. Uh, he's 17. Let's marry him off to somebody decent. I'm going to look around at the available houses that we might get a matrilineal marriage, perhaps, somewhere. Or even just a, a powerful person we can bring in to help us out. Well, I guess we don't want a matrilineal marriage because he is we're marrying off a son, so that doesn't make any sense. Uh, here's the King of Wales. He's got a bunch of kids. Uh, this one's 17 and not married. I wonder if I have... Do I have a daughter that can marry him? I do have a daughter, but she's not quite old enough. Looking at the options for my daughter, there are some pretty good ones. But they're all old. Here's the Duke of Moray. He's only 10. That would actually be really good. He's Scottish. I uh, doubt we'll get... Yeah, we're not going to get it matrilineal. But that would be a, a really good place to start. The Duke of Moray. Uh, that'll give us a nice tie to the Scots. Uh, back to Christopher, though. I want to look at the highest ranking people we could marry him off to. Because some of these women are holding titles in their own rights. Lancaster, that's not bad. Let's do that. Okay, cool. All right. There's one. To put on an act, her eyebrows creep down and her gaze grows cold. You make a decision, say, that all taxes in the county will be raised, and it comes to your attention that one of your vassals openly questions that decision. How do you react? Um... A difference in opinion should be solved by discussion. I'm sure there's going to be a follow-up to this. Uh, all right, all the marriages are happening. All the alliances, excellent. So let's take a look here. My military strength's good. I've got a pretty strong ally there as well. Uh, we're in a pretty good position, all told. Her face is lit up by a surprisingly warm smile. You seem to be a man of sound judgment. Uh, she tosses a coin before moving down the corridor on silent feet. Please join me. We have much to discuss. Okay. She's going to mentor me. All right. We've got an available perk. Again, it's an intrigue perk, which I'm not even really kind of pursuing. Um, oh, I'm going to be Marshal of England. Excellent. All right. Back to our perks. Prepared for anything. We might as well work our way down to Schemer. All right, so that's where we're at. I'm 45 years old, uh, doing pretty well. Uh, the only issue we're going to have, obviously, is the number of children that we have at the moment, but I am trying to deal with that. Um, we're getting really close to our next level on the dynasty. Uh, let's look for a second at the Anglo-Saxon culture. I'm working on heraldry. Uh, that will allow house seniority law, which means all of the titles passed to the senior most member of the house. Uh, which is not quite the same as passing them on to your son. But at least for now, I think that would be the case. Uh, but we've still got... Oh, it's going to take 42 years to do that. Maybe we should keep working on trebuchet because we're only about 16 years away from that. I'm going to wrap it up right there. That's been a lot. We have a new ruler. It is 1150. We've gotten through nearly 100 years now. Uh, 1066 is where we started. So we've gone a long way. Things are going well. I think another 100 years we could be looking at the possibility of uniting all England under our banner. But we're not quite there to try and press that yet. But thanks for watching. Please hit that like button. Check out the links in the description. We'll see you again tomorrow with another episode. Thanks for watching.